Game Ranks brings you the top 10 best new iOS and Android games of May 2015. Number 10, Anodia 2 is a stylish brick breaker game, which offers modern graphics, interesting mechanics, and feels like a fresh take on the genre. Well, by no means does it revolutionize the idea of a brick breaking game. The extremely well done modern graphics and interesting level unlock mechanics make this a game that is easy to come back to for small doses or sit and play for a very long time. Get it on both the iPhone and Android stores for free. Number 9, Heroes and Castles 2, which touts itself as a seamless combination of action RPG strategy and castle defense elements. What you get for $2 on either the App Store or Google Play is a well-executed console-style experience. The hack and slash combat is very enjoyable, and the need to defend your castle from an onslaught of skeletons will take up very much of your time if you let it. Number 8, Totemé. Totemé is kind of an infinite runner style game, except for you're also dodging arrows that are flying at you at all times. You're able to jump specific sections of your totem pole in order to avoid the arrows. As you progress, you unlock new characters, new teams, new achievements, and marvel at the extremely pretty graphics. Totemé is a great game for people looking for an infinite runner that provides a little bit extra layer of challenge. Number 7, Skiing Yeti Mountain. A fun pixel art skiing game with great controls, Skiing Yeti Mountain is a great game that you're probably going to enjoy in small settings. It's colorful, fun, and more importantly, a great time waster. It's everything you ask for in a free arcade game these days. And despite the very low resolution of the art, it's actually really a pretty game. Number 6, Goat Simulator Goats. Goat Simulator is a ridiculous game that's kind of like Tony Hawk combined with I don't know. The creators decided they wanted to make a parody of a Days type game. It's a game that's so ridiculous it knows it does not have to be a good game in order to be a good game. The game boasts a mandatory crafting system and a survival mode where you have to eat every five minutes to survive just like your grandmother. Those are actually from the official feature list. Number 5, The Grim Fandango Remastered. Yes. One of the most critically acclaimed adventure games of all time is back. Obviously, it's remastered. It's got repainted higher res character textures, new dynamic lighting, the classic score re recorded with an actual live orchestra, and a few other features that fans will really love. On top of all that, it's basically the best point and click adventure of all time. It's $10, so it's a little bit steep, but you also won't regret spending that $10. Number 4. Sproggywood is a story-driven turn-based roguelike set in a humorous world inspired by Finnish mythology. But the real gem here is the procedural dungeons with six unique classes. It has simplistic but very pretty graphics, and for people who grew up on a certain type of game, or people who are completely new to the idea of a roguelike, it's going to be a lot of fun on your mobile device. Number 3. I don't know if you're a huge fan of Geometry Wars, but I am. And the new entry to the series brings some huge changes to the game. Thankfully, these changes are evolutionary rather than revolutionary and build upon a formula that's already really, really fun. The biggest change you're going to notice, of course, is the huge 3D levels. They bring a great deal more to the experience by making the game take place across multiple planes. Geometry Wars never disappoints, so pick this one up. Number 2, Legend of Grimrock is a game that came out in 2012 for the PC. It's an unforgiving, first-person dungeon-crawling RPG. The player controls a party of 1-4 to four characters as they move through a 3D-rendered grid-based dungeon, like Dungeon Master or Eye of the Beholder. It's a nostalgic experience, but it's also good for people who are looking to get into the genre, although they are destined for a lot of frustration, as these are not easy games. That being said, they're incredibly satisfying to beat. Grimrock is probably one of the best examples of this kind of game of all time. And number one, Knights of Pen and Paper 2. Build as a turn-based retro-style pixel art adventure full of danger, intrigue, and semi-appropriate cultural references. Knights of Pen and Paper 2 brings you a tabletop RPG experience in which you must assemble both the characters and the challenges that they will face. It is incredibly open-ended, and it is the kind of game that you might be interested in if you like Dungeons and Dragons and pixel art. Which who doesn't? Which of these games looks like the most interesting to you? Leave us a comment. Also, don't forget to like and favorite this video as well as subscribe to our channel. GameRakes brings you a ton of great content daily, so make sure you come back as much as you can. Thanks a whole lot for watching.